Hello and welcome. Today is a new day and we are going to begin a topic tense which is very important for ICC, IAC and all boards. Today is day one of that uh, tense topic. We are going to discuss the basics of tense, the different types of tense and then we are going to move into ICC, IAC, CBSE tense topics which is important for all. So let's begin with the tense day one part of it uh, without any delay. The first topic for today is tenses. Tenses, uh, the first uh, portion that we are going to do is of course the present tense as you know. It is the first part of it. So today is day one of tense uh, and it is important for every standard, every board. So let us give importance to this. Day one of uh, tenses. See first if we move to this page, we have uh, the uh, initially we have the time, isn't it? What is tense actually? Verb and the verb which denotes a particular time. Okay. If I am doing it now, if I am doing it, if I have already done it, if I am going to do it in the future. So it marks the time. So we have three portions over here. One is the present tense, one is the past tense and one is the future tense. We have divided in, into three days um, basing it on the first day for the present tense, second day for the past tense and third day for the Future tense. So beginning day one of our class which is for the present tense. See if you move to the next slide you will see there is simple. First we are considering this one the present tense in the middle. Now present tense is divided into four parts. One is the simple present tense which is extremely easy. Next we have the present continuous tense. We have the present perfect tense and then we have the present perfect continuous. So we have four for each kind. It's the same for the past tense and the future tense also. Now these are the four kinds. You can write them down. Now little bit information I will give you on each of them so that you never forget how to prepare tenses. Okay. Where we make mistakes always. Right. The first one. Let's move to the simple present tense. You see simple present tenses can be identified as the easiest tense. And here there is a formula. You can write down the formula for, you know, if you want to prepare it in, in the way of a formula, you can prepare it. So the subject, which means maybe I, then verb. That means the, the, the thing that is being done, the work that is being done, the verb. And that one, that verb needs to be written in the verb's first form, which means I sing. That is the verb's first form. Remember previously when we were very small, we used to learn tables. First form, verbs, second, second form, verbs, third form, same way. Verbs first form is sing. Verbs second form is sang. Verbs third form, which is the participle form, is sung, S-U-N-G. So here I will write, I sing. So example, I drive a car, car daily. So here the verb is drive. Second one, I drink tea. Here the verb is drink, which is written in the present tense. So here, how do we know when we have to put simple present tense, when we have to put uh, some uh, present continuous tense and the other forms? If it is a habit or a fact, which happens every day. If I say generally I drink coffee in the morning, some habitual truth or universal truth, we will write simple present tense. So see, uh, generally uh, we have the words learn, learns, Play, plays, jump, jumps, walk, walks, show, shows. So these will be simple present tense in terms of habits or facts. Next, moving to present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is another easy one. But same as the present tense only, only issue is it is a continuous action. Meaning the action is going on. So the formula that we have to follow over here is subject plus am plus is plus are plus verb. Am if I am starting my, if my subject is I, so I have to use I am. If my subject is he, she, anybody, then it is going to be, if third person singular, then it is going to be is. And if it is plural or first person singular, I or uh, they, then it will become are. Plus verb plus ing, same as the others. So action taking place now or temporary action, just like this picture. This girl is running. So this is an action which is going on. So how to write it? I, because I is subject. I, we have to place am beside it, helping verb. Then the verb are you and run. Then the ing because it is a continuous tense. So I am running the race now. She is finishing her homework. So at present she is doing it. At present moment she is going on doing it. That is That becomes present continuous tense. The third slide. 
Present perfect tense. What is this present perfect tense? You see, perfect this is something different from the simple form. Present perfect tense also has a formula. Here you will use the subject have or has plus the verb and the verbs past part participle verbs third form. Um, so subject here you mean I. Okay. So I is for third uh, first person singular so for first person singular and for third person plural remember first person singular second person and third person plural for all of this we will use have only if it is third person singular only then we will use the word has plus the verb and the third form that means the verbs first form second form third form i said third form which is sang remember sing sang and sang that so actions now why do we suddenly use present perfect tense if that action has taken place in the immediate past or the effect is continuing meaning imagine I cut my finger just like this picture you see over here I cut my finger now the effect of it is still rolling right it's still continuing meaning it's still giving me some pain or it's still bleeding in those cases we will write perfect tense present perfect moreover some other case also if I have like maybe just before teaching this I was singing so I have just finished singing just finished if you see the word just it means in the immediate past it was done so it will also be present perfect two pauses immediate past second one where the effect is still continuing maybe you had biryani and you have stomach upset so that will be present perfect okay so here I have already written, you can copy this down. I, we, you and they will have, have, the helping verb will be have. He, she or it will become has. So remember it simply, third person singular has, H-A-S, has as the helping verb. Rest of everything will have, H-A-V-E, have. Okay. Next we will move to the last form which is the present perfect continuous tense. What is present perfect continuous tense? See, now when the action is continuing in the past, and it is coming in the present, continuing in the present also. It becomes present perfect continuous. Meaning, maybe I started writing a letter in the past and I am still writing the letter in the present. There we will use present perfect continuous. How will I frame it? Subject, that means I. Same has or have I have to use. Have or has been plus verb plus I. So action that started in the past, continuing in the present. What are the examples? I have been, see, I started teaching you before. Still now in the present also I am teaching. So I have been teaching you English language now. Because from here I will get an idea that I started doing it in the past and continuing in the present. Understood? It has been raining since yesterday. Since means it, it has not stopped, right? If I say I, I, I was cold, uh, I uh, went home for four days. But since, the word since itself means that it is a continuous action, which is continuing till the present moment. There we will write present perfect continuous. So I hope this is very simple. No? Present habitual truths or facts. Con uh, simple present continuous meaning something that is happening in the present and still doing present perfect, which I have just completed in the past or effect is continuing for present perfect continuous means which I started in the past and I'm still doing it in the present. I hope these four are here. Very easy. You can write them down somewhere in your notebook so that you never forget. Next, see, I have kept some questions for you to make your concept clear. If any of these four or five are wrong, you go back and learn it again and then come back and solve. Okay. When I reach her house, I always dash her scene. What will be in this gap? The word is see. So which form, verbs, which form, uh, present tenses, which form sh uh, should be used over here? When I reach her house, I always, always is the hint. Meaning I always see her. This is a habitual truth. So simple present. I see her singing verbs first form the see. So we will write see. He dash study since is the hint. Morning for the test. So that means she's, he started in the past and it's still continuing in the present. So he has been studying since morning for the test. Third one, I dash, see the hint is just, meaning immediate past, meaning present perfect. So I have just come home from office. They dash to school after summer break. So they dash, go to school after summer break. Now what is, uh, what will uh, be this one in the present tense? 
they dash to school after summer break meaning this is some usual fact right like every day after summer or every time after summer break break you have to go to school so they go to school after summer break go simple present she said that the earth dash see the uh, la, fourth one you can also say they are going to school after summer break that is also correct she said because that moment maybe that person is walking to school that way also it is correct she said that the earth dash around the sun so of course this is a fact universal fact this is going to be revolves around the sun i hope this much is clear to you present tense is completely clear to you see when i teach icc ic students i see that many of you this tense also cbsc students make a lot of tense mistakes first make a make let us make our concept clear what are present tenses what is this perfect tense past perfect present perfect future perfect let us clear our concept and then move into the questions we will discuss cbsc tense uh, exercises as well as icsc icc ic tense exercises before that let us solve this maybe this will be a little easy for you but may be difficult also try it and then we will move to exercises i hope this much is clear to you no doubts if you have doubts don't forget to write in the comment section that's all hope to meet you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon bye bye